guys, Jess here from nigessa.co.uk and I'm here with a video I'm going to make um, some customer thank you cards, um, which are cards I love making um, and I'm going to use a set I've not used yet because it's it's brand new to me, it's not new, um, it's in the annual catalogue, I think it was in last year's annual catalogue as well, um, I looked at it last year and went, oh I like that lovely lovely lots of sentiments uh, never got around to buying it and then I managed to get this um, free um, which is always always good um, so this was um, reward um, from my um, team leader for um, sort of achievements um, through the last year so um, that's 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 really lovely so you've got oodles of stamps um, in the uh, stamp set so it's beautiful bouquet um, and so all these flowers the stamp set uh, box front rather uh, the images are 60% of the actual size so as you can see it's much bigger than what's on there so you've got all these lovely sentiments to do lots and lots of occasions you've got um, weddings birthdays congratulations anniversary and um, just just things that could do for 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 many many things um, and, and it's got thanks a bunch which is what I'm using it for you've also got tiny little sentiments here as well um, as well as the big ones and you've got the dies to go with it so you've got all these florals lots and lots of stems uh, leaves etc and then you've got um, this die set which cuts them all out so you can build up a bouquet and you've got a little tiny label there um, which I'm thinking I'm going to do a bouquet I've got a bow for tying around my bouquet and I might do a little label on it for you and then I might have thanks a bunch on the inside I haven't quite decided yet exactly what I'm going to do so um, I have uh, got myself um, lots of different colours uh, so I've got lots of greens for my stems, so these are the greens that I've got uh, Tranquil Tide, Old Olive, Mossy Meadow and Call Me Clover those are my my greens and then so those are going to do a selection of stems and then I've got lots and lots of colours that I thought I'd pick out for um, for the flowers so those are the in colours now which in colours missing? none of them because the other one's there Duh. Uh, so I thought I'd choose the in colours, i choose Mint Macron, my very, very favourite, Blackberry Bliss, and another shade of yellow. Um, I may not use them all, but I thought I'd just stamp a load of flowers, cut them out, and have a play. So I've got blocks to the side here, and I've got my stamping scrub. Um, so I'm going to get sort of started uh, with stamping. Um, I might speed this bit up. Of, of me randomly stamping on me bit of paper because that might get a tad boring um. So I've done all the cutting out, I've, I've cut myself a bit of magnetic um, strip as I always do to hold me dies because there's 21 of them, 21, 22, I had to count them because I lost two, hmm. uh, yeah there's 21 of them and I managed to lose that one and the label 
uh, yeah, it was those two that I lost. It took me ages to find them, so cut myself a bit magnetic. Um, Rect whatever, bit of magnetic sheet, 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 that's the word, sheet. Um, and so, yeah, so I've cut these flowers with a yellow middle. Quite cute, like it. And um, with a pink metal middle. And I've cut, in, cut out um, the two different um, little bits. So there's the, the bit that's like got the dotty middle. And then there's the bit that's got like the stamen middles. Remember that from me, rural science at school. Um, you could also, um, if you could actually pick it up, Jess. You could also put a middle in that one, if you wanted to. Lots and lots of sort of mixing and, and, and matching. You could even put a pink middle in it. What would that look like? There. Ooh, quite like that. And then you've got your um, stems that don't cut out. And there I've done like a little wrap, can you see? Um, with a bow on top, quite like that. Put these flowers on there. You could build up like that. Just put a simple bow around that one stem. And then I kind of turn this into tulips. I tried to layer that, but I might have to go on Pinterest because it kind of didn't look right. Or maybe it does. Maybe that does look all right. Gives it a little bit of something else behind it. And then we've got a little for you, which you can have hanging. And maybe that's what that's for. <laughs> Don't really know. Okay. And that, I think, is you would cut that out of maybe something and have that wrapped around your bunch. And then we've got these stems that I haven't cut out yet, um, which are going to cut out of... Um, green card I might cut these out of yellow card, maybe uh, coloured card. Maybe I'll do that now. So I've cut the dies out and I've stamped all the all the um, sentiments because there's so many and I just wanted to sort of see them and see the right size. So I couldn't have picked a better friend than you. Wishing you a day of love and happy memories, happy anniversary, happy birthday. Thanks a bunch. Love isn't the falling; it's in the staying there. Congratulations, happy wed wedding day. Followed by many days and years of the same. So that's probably goes with some of the others that you've got there side by side and may you grow a wonderful life together uh mr and mrs hello and for you so lots and lots of sentiments lots and lots of occasions you can use those for beautiful fonts i really like that it might become my favorite happy birthday like it like the anniversary i haven't got another man anniversary and then so these are the foliage that you can cut out and here you can see where i've sort of put it all together like that and that kind of ties it all together with a bow on top quite like that look and then that's the flower foliage that's sort of cut out so many many versatile different ways of using this set I'm very excited I am now going to create a card okay so I've been really busy cutting out bits I've made two already um, and I'm sort of layered them up a little bit, put some of them up on dimensional so they've got a bit of depth and dimension to it. And I stamped the inside, thanks a bunch, and used that lovely um, stem and flower bunch. So I'm gonna show you how I put them together. So I'm using uh, for my customer thank yous this month. I'm using our, our note cards. You get 20, yep, 20 note cards and envelopes and they're the thick, heavy weight and then you get our amazing quality envelopes as well, which are just beautiful. And um, I just think some people appreciate a nice envelope. I had a friend once and she just went, oh, nice envelope when I gave her a card and I felt really chuffed. Um, that uh, somebody took the time to be bothered about the envelope and it stuck with me and I thought it does make some difference. So I'm using Whisper White because I've used Whisper White to stamp these out on. If I'd stamped them on very vanilla then I'd probably use the very vanilla ones because these come in Whisper White and very vanilla. Okay and to stick these on because they're quite delicate some of these bits 
um, I'm taking a tip from my mate Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting and uh, she does a lot of quilling um, if you follow her on Pinterest and Facebook you'll see her quilling cards and so she uses a cocktail stick and um, so she just squirts a bit of Tombow on something plastic I think she uses like a Pringles lid um, this is um, packaging from a D block I think um, and I just thought oh that's going to be my I'm going to put cocktail sticks in the bottom and um, yeah that's what I'm going to use so this enables you to do um, sticking on sort of small areas because a cocktail stick just picks up little dots and you can dot it along small areas without getting it everywhere and I thought genius for these delicate little bits and I'm going to use a pair of tweezers to stick it on now where's me one for a guide I remember what I did so kind of went for central out to the side a little bit pop that down and then I'm going to get a block to stick on dirty block it looks like uh, whilst I put glue on this one I found it easier to hold on to it with a pair of tweezers and just dabbing on where there's bigger bits of the cardstock to begin with and then just small dots where we've got the stems quite therapeutic and it is the sort of thing you could do whilst watching telly I imagine as long as you're not watching one of them dramas with subtitles I do like them but I don't like to passively watch telly and so I do find it very difficult to watch that sort of thing whilst trying to do something else but if you're watching do you watch Doctor Who that episode with the spiders oh my god I had to be doing something whilst watching that and I literally put my hands over my eyes at certain bits of it and sort of blocked off the screen so I couldn't see it because I hate spiders terrify me they were terrifying at that size I think I might have just died of fright if I'd seen one that size but I am enjoying this new Doctor Who I have to say and she's local she well she's Yorkshire so it's quite exciting to hear the lovely Yorkshire accent I'm not Yorkshire I've just it's my adopted home I have lived here for 28 years and uh, yeah my kids are Yorkshire now born and bred and I love it God's own country as we call it okay so that's the stems done um, and then we've got our our sort of tie so what I did for that was I stuck the bow on top of the for you so a little bit of a splodge there on the bow to stick it on top of the label so that the for you can be seen and I don't know if you can see but what I did was, I don't know if you can see, it's now getting dark, so I'm getting a shadow, actually. Um, I've just noticed. I've been, have I moved that a little bit? Is that a little bit better? I've no idea. But I did tone on tone stamping, uh, so I stamped the bow, and then I cut it out. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, let's put glue on this bit.
I might speed this up because it might be a bit boring. So then I just need to do the stamping in the middle. So I've got thanks a bunch. I've got my spray and I've got a sprig. I'm going to use Blackberry Biss and Mossy Meadow. And I'm going to do a stamp off and a stamp on. This is going to be full strength, line it up, make it straight and then I'm going to get Blackberry Bliss and again I'm going to do a stamp off and I'm going to line these bottom two up with the bottom two branches and the rest just kind of fall to suit. So there we have it. That is my card done. So I've got to crack on and make some more of those. But that is the first three off the production line for my customers, which I hope they'll like. I hope you like, I hope you give it a try. This set is just beautiful. Didn't do much there other than cut them out, stamp them and cut them out, and then stick them together. And what a beautiful bunch of flowers. And then you can do your two-step stamping there to make these lovely flowers on the inside. I just love them. And I think that bunch works really well on this side of size of note card I think it might get a bit lost you'd have to do something else with it I think um, if you put it on a bigger card anyway all the details will be on my blog nigeza.co.uk and if you would like to receive a nice little thank you card from me then all you've got to do is shop with me if you click on my blog or click below um, in the description bar there will be a link to my shop where you can buy this beautiful set if you like it Loads and loads of cars can be done with it when you look at all the different sentiments that you've got. Okay, see you again soon. Bye-bye. I'm just popping back on because as I was photographing these, I'd got a little smudge in the corner there. So I kind of spritzed over the top with some Stamping Right markers and I quite like it. There's with and there's without. Not quite sure which I like best. Maybe you can let me know. So I'll show you how I spritzed. So I've got two Stammy Right markers. I'm using Blackberry Bliss and Mossy Meadow because those are two of the colours that I used in, um, in making the bunch of flowers. And you just take the lid and you just flick with the brush side and it just gives you a bit of a splatter around like that. Little subtle breaks up a plain background. Oh, that was a little bit lots. A little bit lots. <laughs> and there you have it. Just something different. And then that's it without. So just a little bit of something extra um, to cover up uh, a little mistake there. Okay. See you. Bye. It really is bye this time.